Amy Zamos, and I'm a nutrition graduate student at Eastern Illinois University. And today I want to talk to you about juice consumption in early childhood. Most children love juice, and for many parents, juice is a very easy way to make sure that their children are getting enough vitamin C. But how much juice is too much juice? My pyramid recommends children ages one to six only consume about four to six ounces of juice per day. And although this is equivalent to one serving of fruit, juice does not have the health benefits that fruit does. For example, juice tends to be high in sugar, have no fiber content, and the juicing process actually loses some of its nutrient value. Children who consume at least one cup of fruit a day actually do not need any kind of juice in their diet. They're getting enough vitamin C and other nutrients from the fruit or the real fruit that they're eating. And ju high juice consumption can have negative health consequences in young children such as abdominal pain, bloating, gas, diarrhea, and over a long period of time it can lead to cavities, malnutrition, and even obesity. The main concern we have about children drinking too much juice is that it often replaces the consumption of milk. Children need two cups of milk per day. And children ages one to two actually need whole milk because they're growing so fast they need more fat content. So it's important to remember that children need at least two cups of whole, whole milk a day, and that's two servings of the average size sippy cup. Where juice, for example, four to six ounces is only about half the size of a regular sippy cup. So it's only about that much, and that is for the whole day. One really good tip to decrease the amount of juice your child is drinking is by only offering it in a regular cup or a sippy cup without the lid. When a child drinks juice from a cup with a lid or in a bottle, for example, it's very easy for them to consume and they can drink it very fast. Well, that leaves the child unfulfilled and wanting more. Milk, on the other hand, can be offered in a sippy cup or in a bottle because we want to encourage children to drink more milk and the easier and faster they can drink it, the better. Another tip for decreasing the amount of juice your child is drinking is by diluting the juice with water. By filling the remainder of the sippy cup or regular cup, you, the child is drinking twice as much liquid than there is really juice in there. And that leaves them feeling more fulfilled. And if you start it at a young age, right from the beginning, they'll never know the difference. And it actually still has its sweet taste. So now I want to move to what to look for when you're buying juice in the grocery store. The number one thing you want to keep in mind is you want to look for juice that is 100% fruit juice. And that's because the 100% fruit juice is going to equal the one of amount of serving of fruit, and that's what you really want to do when you serve juice, is have it be equivalent to a, a serving of fruit. Another tip for in the grocery store is don't get stuck on one of the same juice. Children tend to love apple juice because it's sweet, but by offering a variety of colors from light grape juices to dark cranberry juices and cherry juice, you're offering a variety of flavors. In addition, children are developing their eating preferences, and by offering a variety of colors, you're also offering a variety of flavors. So how much juice is too much juice? Well, anything over six ounces of juice for children under six is too much juice. Parents want to keep in mind that monitoring your juice consumption can avoid some of the negative consequences we talked about. And above all, you want to make sure that it's not interfering with how much milk your child is drinking, because milk is so important for growth and development. For more tips about how to decrease your juice consumption and increase milk consumption in young children, visit mypyramid.gov.